All right, what is up? Welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tink Kramer. I'm with Brandman Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we are going to review and discuss the new Alex Garland movie, Civil War. Uh, came out this weekend. Everyone's talking. Everyone is talking about it. Um, so we're going to get into our ratings at the end. We're going to get to our likes, our dislikes, full discussion, everything like that. Uh, so if you're live and in the comments, let us know what you think about this movie. Um, but before we jump into it, Brian's got a breakdown of what this one is about. All right. And then that, this uh, the Sopian uh, future America, um, a team of military embedded journalists race against time to reach Washington, D.C. before rebel factions descend upon the White House. That's a very yeah. small part about what that is, but it, it's this movie is really, really so many layers. As, as, it took yeah. me time to really get through what really happened because I was I was messaging you guys like, I don't know what the hell is happening. And then the more I, time I stuck back, you know, I, I realized, okay, this is what's going on because I didn't know who was the good guy who was the bad guy? But then I also read that that was kind of the point. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I got that a lot through it. So I get, yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll get into like the messages that this movie kind of gets into a little bit. Um, but we'll start off with, uh, with our likes. What did you like about it, Bram? Man? Um, well, I know I said something similar about Monkey Man, but I also like how this one really jumped right into it and hit the ground running. Um, I thought the pacing was pretty good. I thought, like, the acting-wise, I thought the acting felt, like, really, really natural, particularly from um, from Kirsten Dunst and the actor who played her partner. I thought they were probably, like, the MVPs of the movie. Joel, uh, I, or... Yeah, yeah, him. Um, I, um, even the way it, even the way it just kind of ended, um, I, I, I really liked, it was to the point, um, I really like endings that, that just don't waste any time on, like, any more, um, like, exposition or, like, some epilogue to make the audience feel better. It kind of reminded me of, um, of American Werewolf in London, where it just ends. <laughs> yeah. Um, I liked that. Um, I like how tense it was. I liked that the music, like it, it used like a minimal amount of music. Uh, I think that really kind of helped with the tension. Um, it was really easy to get engaged and just kind of follow the movie. Um, so yeah, that those were. I, I'd say those were my likes with it. Okay. Um, I, I I like the 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 gritty realism as cliche as that may sound, I, but I liked I liked that about it. Yeah, yeah, very very the realism in some parts were a little too much too much too real, uh, for good or bad. Um, what about you, Brian? What you like about it? Um, I think it came out the right time. Mm, yeah, um, election year. The way uh, America has been doing things, the, the, the stuff that happened happened in Washington with you know uh, Capitol building and all that stuff, all you see where it could be heading. You see how things couldn't get out out of hand. So I thought that that was good. The timing of it is was really good. Um, I the story I thought was could have been great. They would explain more, you know. But now that I have a, a deeper understanding, I understand what's actually happening. I thought that was that was pretty good. But the acting was, I think, superb by all of them. You know, even Kaylee Spaney, a lot of times annoyed the hell out of me. I still think her acting as far was good because that was what, what they're looking for. Um, but what what's his name? Sammy, the guy who played Sammy. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that was so good. Just. They had type things that really touched you. So emotionally it touched you. And then the idea to be being able to film or, and, to, and be not part of the story when something that drastic is happening. Like when you saw the guys being hanging uh, oh, at a gas man. station. Like yeah. that, it was nuts. People are nuts. And to be able to not say that and still take the picture and be able to 
focus on just that part of the job, ugh, I don't know if I will ever be able to sleep again. You know? Oh, and then, oh, mm-hmm. if I'm talking about lights, the, 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 the two minutes we get with Jesse Plemons was earth yeah. shattering. shattering. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just creepy. And, I mean, he did amazing job. Amazing. Like, I don't mm-hmm. think he, they said someone else was supposed to do it and they had to back out. And she, Kirsten Dunst called, called him because yeah. he, was, he was in town with, with, with the kids in Atlanta. And they came out and he, he just did it in two days. Yeah. And that is, has to be the, the one scene that sticks with you. It was in the trailer, but seeing the scene with all the bodies and everything, yeah, just yeah. it really sticks with you. Um, man, and then the ending, I actually didn't love the, in, the part of the ending, but the, the actual ending I thought was great. You know, mm. seeing yeah. it and, uh, and then cutting. That was great. I still I didn't like the whole idea with Lee, what happened with Lee. So but yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um okay. Um and I thought it was acted well. Uh same thing. For for me, I I thought the best part of it was there was no good guys, there was no bad guys. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. you start like it's also kind of a hate thing, but you, you do start off and it's already going off you're already in the middle of this war of this civil war and and you don't know who the good guys are you don't know who the bad guys are you don't know what side you really belong on you know i mean like whatever your political I- ideology is you don't know fully what side to be on and that's the whole point of the movie is like it doesn't matter what side you're on it's it's just showing no matter what side you're on it's going to be bad you know i mean like like there are no good guys or bad guys. There's just people that get to live and survive and then dead people, you know? And I think that's what it was kind of like trying to, to show, you know, was like, here, here, here's what this would look like. You know what I mean? And it's not like my side wins. Yay. Or, you know, whatever. It's like, no, there's a lot of dead people, you know? And a lot of people do messed up shit because, Oh, you're not that kind of American. Well, I'm going to burn you alive, you know, or hang mm-hmm. you. You know, like, oh, we, we went to school together, but I don't like what you said that one time, you know, and which is like crazy when he's like, oh, yeah, we were we because I think that's what he said. He's like, oh, we were, went to school together. I was like, that's wild. That's wild. Now he's hanging in your backyard, you know. It's, yep. You know. So that's why I was like with that. And, you know, like none of the characters I really cared for, but I feel like I never really were to care for them. They were just kind of going through because they, they, they were like journalists because like journalists you you never really supposed to see them because they're the, the one telling the story so it's kind of like it was an interesting like way to to tell the story was like we're gonna do journalists but also like show it as a journalist in a sense so it's like we're not the story we're gonna show you the story but they're also your like your main character so i don't know i thought that was kind of like a really interesting way to do it you know and then the ending I thought it looked cool. Like the actual fight war parts and stuff like that were like crazy. But you know, mm-hmm. when people obviously die in this movie, when people die, it kind of, it sucks. You know, for me, I was like, damn, you know, I wasn't heartbroken, but at the same time, it was like, you're still invested. In the character. You, yeah. You're hoping to get to the end en- en- enough where I was like, shit, that sucks. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it for my likes without repeating too much, what you guys already said. Um, mm-hmm. what about your dislikes? What didn't you like about this one, Brandon? The Kaylee Spaney character she got everyone killed. <laughs> Literally, she's responsible for everybody that died. It's all her fault. Well, was it her fault why uh, Sammy died? Yeah, get yes, her ass up and get in the damn car. No, you're taking Sammy 30 minutes to save her if she didn't jump to the da- other damn car. What are you but doing? Yeah. The the other dude, was it? Well, didn't Tony kind of push her to do it? No, she said, "I want to go to the other car, guys. I want to go do it." Well, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like literally, if you sat your ass down, only one person would have been dead. And then she took thirty minutes getting into the damn car. Get up and move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, that was one thing. Was how old was she supposed to be? Twenty three or something. Twenty two, twenty three. 
which which was weird because in in certain angle from certain angles she looked like she was about twelve. Yeah, um, like I'm like, is she like sixteen? Like I legit I thought, thought I'm like, she's she like sixteen, I she was 16 seventeen. So I always thought, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but she said she okay. was in college. She did all this stuff. She was out of college, so she was okay. fresh out of uh, college, okay. and that's why she knew who these photographers were and everything. So she was fresh out, you know, fresh yeah. off the boat or whatever mm -hmm. you want to say, like right out of school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, so that makes that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, they could, sorry, they could have been a little clearer about like the the uh, conflict and the war itself. Like what, like you were, like you guys were just saying, like who's um, who's against who? Who are we supposed to be siding with? I know that um, Alex Garland kind of put that a lot more secondary because that's just the kind of writer and director he is um, where he, he kind of like, you know, like certain things he kind of puts secondary, like he did kind of similar with uh, Ex Machina, which he wrote and directed and um, Dread, which he wrote. Um, like he just kind of um, puts certain things kind of secondary, but uh, it, it would, it would have been nice to, to have a little more clarity in that regard in this case. Um, I'd say those, that was mostly it. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd say those were like my main things that, that immediately come to mind. Yeah. Um, dare I say the movie, um, even though it wasn't that long, um, and I think it was a pretty good length considering the, um, like the, the plot that they went with. It could have been a little shorter. It's an hour and forty five minutes. It's it's an hour and forty five minutes. Yeah, it's like <laughs> if if they cut out like it could have been at least like ten, fifteen minutes shorter and I would have been fine with it. I think it'd but, be too um, short. No one's gonna pay for the movie if it's under ninety minutes. If it's, like... it's under ninety minutes, I don't think you pay for the movie. Not not a drama movie like that. You'll do it for mm -hmm. a scary movie, but you wouldn't do it for a drama like what we were getting mm -hmm. there. I think it should have been yeah. longer. I think they should have cut. I agree with him cutting out some of the stuff in the middle. I think mm -hmm. it should have been longer explaining what's going on, what caused the Civil War. Because mm -hmm. a little, little thing like I had to get the, the commentary of, of you know the director to understand that, okay, the U United States president was being tyrannical. He was a tyrant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what caused California and Texas to once succeed, the Western forces. Cause those are two opposing political people, like you know, far left, far right, but they come together because he's being tyrannical. And then yeah. eventually, Florida, so Florida, Texas, California, coming together to to do that. So understanding that, I thought actually brought more depth to the movie, to the movie. Um, but it should have been explained in the movie. You could have even did it just in this one of those words on the on the screen. You didn't even have to say nothing. The movie could be the yeah. exact same. Just giving me the mm -hmm. words to, so I understand what the hell's going on. Because I, I literally text you guys like, I'm still not sure what, whose side was what. You know, like, and they were all wearing fatigues. And I don't know what, who the Western for, uh, the forces are, really. And why, why are the Secret Service still fighting for the president? And, you know, and are you a real American? I didn't understand any of it because I didn't know what side was what. But I understood <laughs> Alex Gardner was like, that's not as important as it is the fact that we're, you know, no one's right. No one's uh, completely right. But then it was framed like the Western forces were the good people, the good guys. So I I, I still I was confused about that. Um, I, I think I agree with Kaylee Spaney being a little annoying. Uh, cause you just stop being a baby, but right out of school, I know getting into my industry or doing any of the stuff that I did, even like going to, you know, you know, in, in being an engineer or doing the business, mm -hmm. you don't know what you don't know. Cause school is so different than what the real world is. So I understand mm -hmm. that you have to have time to adjust, but then even after she had all those near death experiences, she still caused everyone else to die because she was out there just doing whatever the hell she wanted to do. Like she was invincible. That pissed mm -hmm. me off too. You know, people even at the end, you still call someone to die because you're out there thinking your camera's a gun. Mm -hmm. 
Like you, you got invisible a visibility cloak or something. I just didn't, I didn't like that part. Uh, mm-hmm. And I would have loved to have a little bit more Nick Offerman. Yeah, Being, a lot you know, more Nick Offerman. If you have Nick Offerman and he's a be ty- this tyrant. No, Nick Offerman being a tyrant, like do it. He is an amazing actor. I think you should have done more with him. That's yeah. those are my hate. My only parts I know. Brandon bring this up because honestly, without fear mongering, it was just a road trip movie. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, in a sense, but also it was, it was like the road the trip is like part of it was yeah. was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was. I mean, it's a road trip throughout America, seeing like death everywhere. You know, so except know, for that one town. That yeah. was still just like, like nothing. It was, hey, yeah. And you look at the rooftops, yeah. you see them <clears throat> with uh, M80s and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I agree. So I agree with what <clears throat> Kenny says. Like, you should never have to go outside of the movie to get context of the movie. Exactly. You know, and I was like, when the director in an interview after the movie's out gives context and you're like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. I wish they would have said that in the movie somehow then that's a problem with the movie right off the bat. You know what I mean? So, you know, and. But it could have been solved so easily. Easily. Easily could have been solved. And I think the problem is also, it's like, if I feel like this movie, they won you, or you needed to see the trailer before seeing the movie, because like, it's almost like the trailer was part of the movie because I'm like, did I get more Nick Offerman in the trailer than I did in the movie? You know, it's like, I, same. yeah, you know, but I'm like, you probably got all of Nick Offerman in, in the trailer than in the movie. You know, I was like, you know, and it was just like, what's fully going on? And then when you, they explain like the, the, you know, the tyrant kind of thing and this and that, I'm like, okay, that adds context of, of things, you know what I mean? So, you know, because it's also like, well, these guys think he was being a tyrant, but was he actually being a tyrant? You know what I mean? Cause then that, that just still brings up more you know questions so i don't know i it, i thought that was kind of weird i wanted to know more about the war itself rather than just the consequences of the war which i get that's the message he was trying to, to tell you it was just like this is this is the stuff that comes with the civil war you know so mm-hmm. you know like I, I i'm okay with it to a certain extent but also it just felt almost uh like it was just something was missing like a big chunk of it was just missing you know because it was you know so you know it's like uh you're, you're coming in at the end of a fight and you're just like wait what's going on you know why are these guys fighting you know so um kind of like when we always say a, a good villain makes a movie but if you don't know who the villain is you don't know if it's making a movie or not for you you really don't know what's what yeah 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 I mean that's kind of kind of right, you know. I mean, like, because you why you want to hate Jesse Plemons, and I don't even remember what side he was on. Like now that I'm thinking know. about it, I still don't know. I'm I'm like, trying because I know a lot of them had the patches on the shoulder, you know, and I'm trying to remember. I'm like I don't even remember what side he was on. So yeah, you know, it's just. I don't know. I don't know. War movies are always interesting, but the way this went about was 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 very different. We do things nice and easy over here. Now, later, never. Now means you go run to the theater, watch it right now before it gets spoiled. Uh, later means you wait till it's at home and watch it at home. And never means just skip it all together. Uh, Brandon, what you giving Civil War? Um, this is kind of a tough one. Um. But I think I will have to give this a later. Um, really good movie. I really liked, like I said, it, it really throws you in. I like the tense vibe. Um, I really like the acting. It's definitely not for everyone. Um, and that a lot of that kind of goes for everything Alex Garland makes. Um, so, like, you're not necessarily missing out on a whole lot or even, like, a really big theatrical experience by not seeing it in the theaters. Um, so I would have to 
it was kind of tough because I was thinking about giving it a now. Um, but I can, I'll, I'll, I'll settle on later for this one. Okay. All right. What about you, Brian? I agree. This is really hard for me to say. Um, because I believe if you just gave context of who's the good person, who's the bad people, that I would say this is a not just good, but almost great movie. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think is the, the social, the you know, political stuff that they they did, social the social aspect to it, the, during the time that we're having, especially with the type of you know things that are happening around us now, the realism. I understand the, the commentary, the, the social commentary of it. I like it a lot. But me not knowing, me having to get this stuff from the director is the one thing that's like makes me almost want to say later. Mm. Me not knowing who's good, who's bad, makes me want to give it, the, give it a later. Um, even though I, I think it's a very quality movie. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So I won't I won't land on later this time, yeah. But someone could talk me into now. So someone could talk me into now. If it's something that they could told me. If you if you only knew notice this, they gave you the, you know who was a good and who was bad. Here you just didn't see, pay attention. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with now just because I think mm-hmm. uh, seeing it on screen on the big screen is definitely like really interesting because it's not a comfortable movie it's not a movie you walk out of it happy you know you know but it is a movie you you walk out of it like thinking a lot you know um because for me like it it didn't matter as much who is a good guy or a bad guy you know i mean because like who you're somebody you're somebody's bad guy if you're if you think you're the good guy or you know vice versa so it's like it was always like they think they're the good guys. Well, you think you're the good guys. Who's the real good guy? You know, you both are killing everybody, mm-hmm. you know? I mean? So it's like, you're both bad guys. And so it was like that idea I was cool with. I wanted more backstory of how the war started. You know, that was my biggest issue. But overall, like, I, I got to say now, just because, like, I think the import, the message it was getting to, like, Listen, man, war is not good. You know what I mean? It's especially like mm-hmm. what Brian said, especially now. You know, everyone's talking about like, oh, civil war, we'll do this or that. And it's like, listen, man, if if this is the 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 action you want to take because like some people can't figure little things out, then then yeah, that's not it's not this is the this isn't the solution. This isn't the answer. Yeah, we all suffer. I, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everybody. So yeah. I I thought it was it was good enough to be a, a now. But I'm kind of like Brian with the, the other way. If you, you want to talk me into later, I'm okay too with later. I could, yeah, I could potentially be talking to in the now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of it's really I it's really on that middle ground. And the whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna give this an hour or later. You know, mm-hmm. so um, I think I like the movie. Yeah, but I think I might like it better at home. I I don't know if I necessarily yeah. because I, I think I could really get into the movie more at home and that, that's a little mm-hmm. weird you know no i can see because it's it's a very like i said it's an uncomfortable movie and and sometimes uncomfortable movies are better to watch at home just because you can kind of take a break if you need to take a break you know what i mean like we see mm-hmm. those that this movie... coming off that tr- that dump truck wow wow yeah or seeing the dude get lit on fire and you're still seeing his face like yeah oh my god a little bit hard to watch in the theater full of people. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and then we got uh Brandon Davis coming in. I would give it a later. Okay. Uh he said, but when it hits streaming, definitely check it out. I liked it. Uh Cleef said, uh, Civil War is a great movie. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about Civil War. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Some scenes you, you feel that uh that were done really well. But uh let us know. We love the chit chat with you guys in the comments. Um, we appreciate everyone hanging out with us and everyone in the live chat. Stick around because we are gonna finish things up for the night. Mm-hmm.